how to convert meter to feet and inches in excel hello everyone welcome to excel 10 tutorial in this intermediate excel tutorial i'm going to show you an excellent formula that will help you converting from meters to feet and inches in microsoft excel let's get started <laughs> Take a look at this workbook we have meter in column a and we want to convert them in feet and inches okay so for that i'm going to use formula i'm going to write here equal to and then convert okay our first parameter is number and select the meter and then i'm going to convert from meter here double click here to inches first okay so i'm going to select inches okay close parenthesis and press enter so we have converted meter to inches now if i divide this with 12 we'll have feet okay so we have one meter equal to 3.28 so i don't want any decimal first we are going to add the feet with the feet symbol so i'm going to add the trunk function t r u n c if i double click here and i'm going to close parenthesis and press enter now we have three feet okay we removed all the decimal points and convert them with pure feet okay and now if i add an ampersand here and within double quotation i'm going to add feet sign if i press enter we have our three feet now we are going to add space after the feet sign okay so we have feet and then within double quotation our feet sign and a space okay so we have now three feet and space okay now let's add the inch part here so we are going to add another ampersand and we need to use the convert function again either we can use that or we just copy this part okay so we are converting our meter to inches again and now if i use the mod function here okay if I write here mod, double click here and add a divisor of 12. Okay. So mod function will always show you the remainder. So if we divide this with 12, we'll get feet and the rest of them is inches. So when we get the remainder, that will be our inch. So if I close parenthesis and press enter, we have three feet, three inches and we have decimal points that I don't want. Now we need to remove the decimal point from the inch part. So I'm going to wrap this up with the trunk function again. And close parenthesis and press enter. So we have three feet, three inches. And now we need to add the inch part. So I'm going to add another ampersand on the, our formula and I'm going to add four double quotation. Okay. If I press enter, we have our inch sign. If I double click here, we have one meter equal to three feet three inch five meters 16 feet four inch and remember we have the truncate function used in the inch part so it will be a little bit less okay so this is how you can convert meter to feet and inches in excel this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon and don't forget to subscribe also if you need the formula that we have here please check video description you will find the formula there this is what I wanted to show you. Thank you. Thanks for watching.